Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to use your GoPro as a webcam. You can do this with the GoPro Hero 8 Black, GoPro Hero 9 Black, and more than likely future models of GoPros as well. It's really easy to do with the GoPro software called GoPro Webcam Desktop Utility. It's available for both Windows and Mac and it's free and it's really quite easy to do. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Every Day and we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right into turning your GoPro into a webcam. So let's start out with getting your GoPro prepared to be a webcam, then we'll move on to the GoPro software and then finally connecting your GoPro. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that your GoPros are up to date in the firmware. It's really easy to do with the GoPro app, just connect it and you should be able to easily update them. If you don't have the newest software or firmware in your GoPro, this is not going to work for you. I tried it with the GoPro Hero 8 black. Now the next thing we need to do is make sure that our GoPro Quick Connect is turned on. So there's two settings in here and it's slightly different for both of them, so I'll show you on both. Um, you need to make sure GoPro Connect is turned on, so swipe down on your GoPro Hero 8 Black, go to Preferences, and you want to go to Connections, and go to USB Connection here, and you want to make sure GoPro Connect is turned on, not MTP. MTP is for transferring kind of files between your computer and your GoPro, so make sure GoPro Connect is turned on, and on your GoPro mm -hmm. Hero 9 Black, it's slightly different, swipe down, swipe from right to left. Go to Connections, and again, USB Connection, and GoPro Connect, just like that, and you should be good to go. And it's really that easy to set up your GoPro for the webcam. All right, so the next thing we need to do is go ahead and install the software on our computer. This is on the GoPro website. I'll put a link to this page below in the description so you can easily find it. And again, this software is available for Mac and Windows. Now, we're gonna be installing it on Windows today. I don't have a Mac. Um, if you are using a Mac, I'd love to hear about it from you, whether the process was the same or slightly different. There are instructions on this page for doing it with a Mac as well. Let's go ahead and click on the instructions for Windows and that's gonna take us to the right spot on this page. And once we get down here, we can go through the instructions again if we like, but you can see that it is functional with Zoom, WebEx, Slack, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Skype, GoToMeetings, Facebook, and Discord. So there's a ton of programs that it works with. We're gonna try it out with Google Meet in just a little bit here. But let's go scroll up a little bit and you'll see here it says install and launch the GoPro webcam app. We're just gonna go ahead and click on this blue part here and it's gonna start downloading the GoPro webcam app here in the bottom corner. And once that's in, or downloaded, I can go ahead and click on it and install it. Welcome to the GoPro webcam setup wizard. We'll just hit next and read through the terms here. Once you've done that, you can accept it and hit next and just go ahead and hit install and it's gonna start installing that for you. Please attach your device to the computer anytime after install installation has finished. We're gonna hit OK, and we're just gonna go ahead and hit Finish, and it's gonna to want to restart my computer here. So I'm just gonna hit Yes, restart my computer, and come right back to you. All right, so the next thing we need to do is connect our GoPro to our computer with the USB-C cable. The process from here on out is pretty much exactly the same for the GoPro Hero 8 as the GoPro Hero 9 Black. So I'm just gonna continue with the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Let's go ahead and open up the little door on the side of your GoPro. You pull down on the little switch there and swing the door open just like that. And you can turn on your GoPro. Now, when you're doing this, you probably got one of these USB-C cables with your GoPro or maybe one of the accessories. These are pretty short if you want to use them for your webcam. I do have a longer kind of six foot one here and you can pick these up on Amazon. I'll put a link below in the description so you can easily find these. Go ahead and plug that into your computer. It's best to plug it into a USB 3.0 port and those are typically blue on your computer. That'll just give you the fastest speed. Now let's go ahead and plug this into the side here on the GoPro into the USB-C port, just like that. And I've got this fancy dancy little tripod here that extends, it's by Ulanzi. GoPro makes a similar one as well. Um, these are super cool if you're trying to use your GoPro as a webcam. I'll put a link again for these below in the description as well. And I'm just gonna put this on my desk here, all plugged in. All right, so back here on my desktop, if I go to the bottom right-hand corner, I should see the notification area. 
If I click on the little arrow here, it should show me all of my little icons. And there's a new icon here now that looks like a little GoPro camera with a blue circle in it. If I hover over it, it says GoPro webcam, just to the left of my big yellow circle there. So let's go ahead and left click on that. And you're gonna see a menu pops up that looks something like this. There's a few different options in here. So there's preferences, preview, and lens mode. Currently lens mode is grayed out. We need to preview before we can change the lens. So let's go ahead and click on preferences. This is where you would select your graphics device. I currently only have one, the 1070, so I don't need to make any changes there. Um, if I go back here, I can go back to the GoPro webcam, left click on it. We can click on preview and that should load up a preview of my webcam here. And you can see I'm popping up on the screen and that's the preview. Now, if we wanna change the look of this, we can just go back to the GoPro here or the GoPro icon and left click on it. And we can go to lens mode and it'll give you options for wide, narrow and linear. So if I click on wide, it's gonna give me the wide look, the typical rounded corner look that you'll get with the GoPro. I do like to keep it on linear because that gives me the square look. I typically always film in linear on a GoPro for what I like. So I'm gonna leave it on that. Now let's go ahead and load up our um, Google Meet and I'll show you that it works in there as well. So if I go over to my Gmail account, click on new meeting here on the left and I'll hit start now and it should load up a new Google meeting for me. Hopefully we'll see if it picks up the GoPro automatically here. Um, it looks like it might. There we go. Hello, I'm on the screen there using the GoPro as a webcam. Now, if it didn't pick up your GoPro automatically, if you go down to the three dots in the bottom right hand corner here, just left click on that and go to settings. And it's gonna be slightly different depending on the program you use. If you're using Discord, um, you might have to go into the settings or Zoom and they're all different in where you would pick your camera, but they typically have an area where you would pick your camera and microphone. So right now you can select your different microphones here, but what we want is the video one here. So if I click on video, you can see my GoPro webcam is selected. If you don't have that selected, if it's one of your other cameras, maybe you have a different webcam or like I have a Camlink 4K, um, you can just select it in here. Go ahead and find GoPro webcam just like that and close out and your GoPro webcam should show up on the screen. And it's really that simple to get started with using your GoPro as a webcam with Windows 10 or even on your Mac computer. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you out in using your GoPro as a webcam on your computer. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.